video, I'm going to show you how you can render Quarto Thesis in Visual Studio Code. If you're a Python programmer, um, you're more likely to be using this. So um, I'm assuming that you have the Quarto Thesis folder on your computer. Watch one of the previous videos to see how to do that if you're downloading a zip file or you're creating a template repo of your own and then cloning that to your computer. So, but in any case, you've got that folder onto your computer. So first thing I want to do in Visual Studio Code is I want to open, um, let's see, I'm going to here, I want to open folder. Okay. So I need to navigate to it. So, um, here, okay. Okay, so here's the folder. This one happens to be where I got it from a zip, so it's not linked to a repository in GitHub. So I'm not going to be able to like push changes back up to GitHub. If I wanted to push changes back up to GitHub, then I'd need to go to the one. I put it on, let's see, put it here. This one, I called it my thesis. That was in one of the videos. That's when I was cloning a repository that I called my thesis. Let's go ahead and show that so you can see how that works. So, so this one is a GitHub repo. Great. So now I've got this. Okay. So I've got all the files there. I can see that in Visual Studio Code. And um, let's go ahead. Let's assume you didn't have a terminal open. So I'm now going to do file. No, go to terminal, new terminal. So now I got a new terminal, and now if I want to build this, I just say uh, Quarto render, and that's going to render the whole thing. Okay, so there, there you have your new PDF, and once you're ready to get uh, working, you're going to go here, editing this file, and this is where your chapters are, and obviously edit all this stuff. Um, then your content is going to be in this folder here. There you go. Okay. And I think, yeah, right. Okay. So if you look at the extensions here, I've got the Quarto extension loaded. And what that means is when I open a, a chapter right here, um, I see this render button here. And actually, I'm not 100% sure what will happen if I click that. Let's go ahead and click it. Oh, okay, so there you go. Now you can uh, see that in the preview window. So I'm not, not sure why that looks like that, though. That's a little strange. Okay. All right. And it looks to me, uh, I think what it's doing here is it's rendering to HTML. Yeah, it rendered to HTML. But at least you can preview it like that. If you want to see the um, PDF, you would uh, do what I did before. So right here with the um, uh, Quarto render. Um, one thing I was going to show is just how um, you would... Um, push your changes back up to GitHub. So in Visual Studio Code, you've got this little branchy looking thing here. So you go there and you can see I made some modifications and then it's got all this JavaScript because I did the um, HTML, which I don't actually want. So let's just get rid of all those. Yes, delete that actually. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder if I can select all these, do these, yes. So uh, this is all HTML stuff, so I'm just getting rid of that. So here, I don't want that either. Okay, delete it. Okay. So um, I just want the thesis, that's what I changed. And so now I can stage those changes and then I can add a comment, you know, um, add a new chapter, so whatever I did. Oops, uh, check that, yes. And then uh, sync the changes, and I click that, it's going to 
um, push that up to GitHub, just like that. Okay, hope that helps.